Oh, is that money? Fired up again. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back. Or to you that? yeah. Why don't you tell me that? What? You're doing just fine. It's just me acting. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Welcome back or to the channel, we are going to drop off a couple orders and the uh, winner of our last giveaway, we are sending his check to him today. As you can see, this hoodie, the new mint little mountain hoodie, and Katie's got our desert tan brown sandstone-ish hoodie on. These two will be featured in our next giveaway. These are a little bit lighter weight than our black ones, as you can hear the power stroke whistle. And a couple other products as well. With this whole thing going on, I li literally, I, Hats, I'm trying to restock one, these hats, I'm trying to get camo hats, I got other stuff coming, other hoodies, other shirt, just in general, everything is backed up. So I apologize right now for everything going on, but uh, we will restock a lot of stuff here soon. Some of the old like black hoodies and stuff, it'll be a minute before they come back in, but we have new stuff for you guys. We're back in uh, KD60 here. She's starting like every time now, so that's good. Maybe those batteries just really need to charge up. Sounds good, driving great. Does need some stuff done to it, but uh, we a little truck right now. Okay, Katie's gotta fill this up for the first time, but we're trying to debate whether to shut it off here at the uh, station or not, hoping it'll restart like like after like a hot start. Ooh, something that like, we can always call somebody to come. But also? Yeah! Uh, Let's just do it, it's fine. Okay, I'll we'll shut it off, so we'll find. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go inside. She's gonna fill up, and let's hope she let's starts hope when we're done. <laughs> yeah, I picked up one of these. I'm let's see. I know, a little scared. <laughs> At least there is a truck. Yeah, I know. Uh, Cummins over there might have to save us. <laughs> Give her a rip, yeah. tater chip. Oh, fun. <laughs> okay, good. Good. She's getting better. She's getting better. So if you guys didn't catch the end of the last video, we painted our plastic for our Chevy's bumper here just with the uh, plastic trim paint from Dupla Color. Interesting, interesting stuff. Let me show you here. Just this right here. This stuff did good. I just want to keep the can for you guys, show you guys what it was. Most of the stuff in here is like parts off this truck. Like all of that over there is stock parts. Over there, half the thing is all like the fenders, plastics, wheel, all of it's a bunch of stock parts, tail lights, those are headlights, They're, everything's in here, everywhere. And we'll be cleaning it out. This truck is almost done, so we are, we'll clean it up. Before we get into putting this truck back together, bumper's going on, grill's going on, and we're gonna pull this truck out of here today. I'm gonna unbox everything today. Everything's getting unboxed. And I'm gonna show you guys the wheels for our Hellcat. I'm gonna show you guys our steering for our Ram. I'm sorry, put it there. I'll show you guys a couple other things I ordered and what else here? Oh, we got a whole bunch of new spring cleaning, detailing stuff from Jack's Wax. We got it all. So I'm gonna unbox those right now for you guys. Kind of give you guys a preview of everything that's about to happen on this channel. Oh. This is all of our spring detailing stuff from Jack's Wax. I am actually super excited. This I've had this here for a couple days. Hi, Huck. Okay, so in this box here, Got a big bottle of Hawaiian Shine. It's kind of like a, uh, it's just like a detail spray wax. This, this I want to try out, cherry wax. I'm gonna doubt it smells like cherry. Oops. Nope, it smells like cherry. They sent me some of their uh, Jack's Wax, their hand sanitizer. They had made, um, they have this in like this form, this size. They have them in the bigger sizes now too on their website if you guys are interested in their uh, hand sanitizer, but that's awesome. This is pretty much just a leather conditioner. I, I wanted to get it for my Hellcat and just in general. 
Yes, this stuff, this bug zapper, guys, oh, just key for like spring season when you're driving down the highway and no matter what, every time you drive, you come back with a front end full of bugs. This just gets every single bug off, no, literally no fight. Spray it on, wait like two minutes and they just wipe right off. You know, you're sitting there, power wash, can't get it off. This stuff, oh, incredible. Got cherry wax on my knife. So I picked these up, they're wheel wands. They're I, just because of my wheels, they, uh, all the spokes and everything, it's hard to get in there. So I figure, you know, with the three different types, I could get in there and clean all my spokes well. FE Decon, this is to get the iron off the paint. Last time I washed my Ram, if you look up close, you got those little orange spots on there. It's just like iron and metal oxidation on your paint surface. This will help us get all of that off and just, oh, uh, I've been waiting for this forever. I really, really wanted to try this out. Ah, all right, water spot remover, another product that just want to try and at least have on my shelf because you always sometimes you'll go somewhere and you'll have those hard water spots you just can't get out no matter how many times you wash it so this is an interesting product and I wait to try this out on uh, like surfaces and stuff where that stuff kind of shows up ah what do you know this is a new product from them it's their HD wheel and tire cleaner this we got for our Chevy so I can redo our bumpers our black rim <laughs> black rim black trim restore just so we can brighten up the uh, old plastics. Super citrus, this stuff's good for your like wheels, even tires, and your wheel liners, your undercarriage, your motor, anything that's kind of like needs degreasing, um, this will get the job done. So here you go guys, here's kind of our spring loadout, replenishing some stuff, getting some new stuff just to try out, and uh, we're gonna have a great car season truck sheets. We're gonna, have a great, we're gonna have a great clean car truck season now. With all these products, uh, obviously you guys know Jack's Wax, I just, I love them. If you guys are interested in not only any of these products, but anything on their website, use the code LIME. I really don't get anything for it, but uh, they've been supporting me and the channel, so. Use the code LIME, get 10% off your order, and all these products here, you can get a pretty, pretty good discount on them. Get a whole, get yourself a whole new, like, uh, outlet of cleaning supplies for this spring. Now this thing is just something I've always wanted. I've always wanted a Yeti. I emailed them, obviously you can see, Tundra 45. I want a Tundra 65 a little bit bigger, but when I emailed them, they said they were not making a, or had plans to make a 65 or whatever in this color. Just one of those things you always want to make one Yeah, I know, but this color is awesome. Let's get it out. Wow. Oh, guys, yeah, this looks incredible. Oh my goodness, this color. I've always, always wanted. I have a feeling this might get dirty rather quick, but. That's character, right? Yeah, this is perfect enough for us, I guess, if we went camping or whatever. Just need something, you know, I always wanted, first of all, I always wanted a Yeti, but this color, I wish they made the 65. No, if they magically come out with a 65, yeah, I don't know. Probably because of the color, they don't think it's gonna sell, but, oh, sold me, that looks awesome. Ain't that funny, it's literally a day later since I filmed the last video, and look at this. It's like 56, sunny, the snow melted. I'm like dying for like summer weather, like here soon, guys. Like I can't deal with the cold much longer, actually. Oh yeah. All right, and here we have our wheels for our Hellcat. I'm actually gonna break them out here, show you guys uh, the new wheels that are going on the Hellcat over here very soon. Um, I'm gonna show you guys that, and obviously you guys know the 315s are back there for the rear, so those are going on, but I'm gonna break these out for you right now. So I really only need to open one, but I'm gonna tell you what they are, how they look, and they are in fact staggered. So these should be the fronts that are 20 by nine. Yes, they are, I can read the label. Obviously the wheels that come on the car are 20 by nine and a half. Most aftermarket wheels, they usually come 20 by nine, and you also get them at 20 by 10 and a half. I'll just use my keys. So I feel like picking wheels for a vehicle is the hardest thing to pretty much do. It took me forever to find a wheel for my truck that I like. It took me forever to finally like focus in on a wheel I wanted for this car, uh, all the above. Cause obviously, you know, we're taking off the factory SRT wheels here. Um, just not say just because, but we are. Um, because they're just simply not wide enough to accommodate a wider tire. I don't know why Chrysler did that and they put insufficient like width tires on the car and just factory Pirellis that don't even hook or drive right. Like, I don't know. Here are the new wheels for the Hellcat. They are Asante Black Label. I believe Leo, I believe that's the model. 
but these things are sharp. Let me take these out for you guys. Oh, baby. And then I think they come with like optional like carbon fiber inserts that I can put in here if I wanted to. I don't know. I'll see how they look. Here they are, guys. These look darn good. I got 20 by 9s for the front and 20 by 10.5 for the rear. Oh, wow. Even right there. Look at that. I wonder if there's one in the rear. There might be a double valve stem on this one. Yep, there is. So, oh, those look so good. It honestly took me forever to pick a wheel because obviously I like spokes. I don't know much about car wheels. So me actually getting out there buying a car wheel for pretty much the first time ever. And you, some of you are gonna be like, oh, you're not putting forged back on there? Or like three piece? The answer is no. Like I said, obviously I'm a truck guy and you know, having, to me, having this build, that build, Chevy build, doing that and like actually unloading a bunch of money into like three piece like forged wheels for this just doesn't make much sense. So I mean if this was my only car and like my just my passion I did all everything and ev anything to that car yes I'd go with the forged like three piece whatever. And then one of the final things we have here for our SEMA Ram over there like I said guys that build is not done. It probably won't ever be done to be honest. Okay, so here we have our new drag link and our new tie rod. As you can see, this is a giant beefcake. This is so darn thick, guys, it's honestly unreal. Thick with two, maybe three Cs. This is so thick. Same thing with this. These are heavy duty upgraded uh, to improve the steering overall. New um, ball joints up here, so we're gonna have tight steering for a while now. Uh, greasable serviceable ball joints so that is awesome but you saw how thick those were compared to this um, this right here obviously there's your drag link this is known to fail this nut here with the recall out there so this will be replaced with the heavy duty drag link and this will be replaced with our heavy duty tie rod back there we still have our motor for our power washer build that's gonna be going down soon I honestly just want to get this truck kind of back together and out of the garage which we're gonna do right now oh we're gonna finally open up this claustrophobic garage get all this stuff uh, just kind of strained up a little bit here but also finally get this truck back together first of all will it start after all this time second of all I forgot i need to clean this and why are these mirrors still i also want to retint put our gaskets back oh i got so much to do oh, i hate how that hits all right, well, let's start. I guess that's the, oh, you're kidding me. Oh. You're kidding me. Oh my goodness. Why is it that it's always the ram that's saving the day? Y'all saw on my Instagram, saved the power stroke the other day. Now it's saving the Chevy. Guys, I'm telling you, it's not, it's not coincidence. I'm telling you guys, I'm sorry, but it's not coincidence. <laughs> All right, she started up now. Let's get these cables disconnected and uh, get, this, get this out of here. I'm tired of this garage being so claustrophobic. Wow guys, our truck in the sun, or I guess clouds, but at least natural light looks freaking, it just looks great. But here we have our new bumper. Yeah, and which I didn't know is I got a steel on this one. As you guys know, the old one was for like an 00, 2000 or 2002 Silverado and then all the other Tahoes and Suburbans or whatever. But this one I got off of Amazon for the correct truck and came with the correct brackets. So we have new brackets. Um, I'm gonna get the hardware off of our old bumper in there and we'll be able to slap this on right now. Well, I just 
swap this, our painted plastic over in our bumper brackets with all the hardware. I had a time and a half trying to figure out the concept behind these, but I finally did after I got like 12 of them installed. So uh, I had to take them all back out and then put the, the inner plug in first and then this plug goes through there and then the push pin goes into the plug that went through the thing and into, yeah. So it's on now. We're good. I'm gonna flip this over. We can attach our upper plastic and uh, yeah, we could take our other bumper, put it in that box, and ship it back. And then we'll be able to get it on the truck very shortly. Okay, so as you guys saw here, we got our bumper assembled again. It looks good power coated we're gonna uh touch up all of our plastics once we get it on with our jacks wax uh trim restore it does work rather good did already test it so it's gonna this the trim on both the front and rear bumper is gonna look sharp actually finally time to put our um powder coated bumper brackets back on um wasn't exactly a full out powder coating job because i only like really sanded this part down but we're gonna put these on they're gonna look sharp and then we will put our bumper back on and then finish with the grill and that'll pretty much complete the whole look of the truck Okay, so our bumper is on. It's a little higher on this side than the other side. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to do that. Uh, kind of fix that a little bit. But what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna use the Jax Wax uh, trim renewer on this really quick prior to um, putting the grill on so I can get all these back pieces and such. So I'm gonna do that really, really quick here. All right, so we've already got one pad with this that's been used. I'm gonna use it again on this. Uh, we did kind of some testing off camera here, but I am going to add just a little bit and as you can see look at that this is just the jacks wax black trim trim renew um, got it off their website uh, like i said if you guys want any jacks wax products use the code lime to save i think 10 percent off your order so it'll get just ready for spring we're going to use this here come in here as you can see it it shows up super black the uh stuff in the bottle is black and you're pretty much dying your plastics and then you're going to wipe off the excess i could have painted this too if i wanted to but I kind of wanted to see what, you know, kind of want to see what the paint looked like and then what our renewed plastic would look like when we finished it. But as of right now, they're looking pretty similar. So I'm not going to lie, that really, really woke up um, our plastic on this bumper. Uh, I'll probably wipe off whatever's excess and doesn't get sucked into the plastic. But just in general, that made a huge, huge difference to that faded gray plastic. Best part about this stuff, it doesn't even have to be on bumper pieces. Like as you can see here, uh, this piece under the hood, you can use it on here. You can do like your Vortec, um, you know, motor cover really. So guys, that completely transformed our bumper, our rear bumper. Um, trim as well that looks so much better obviously it's going to soak in due its time and it won't be so like slick and greasy i'll wipe off any excess that's on top just like you can see it kind of puddles up here doesn't get soaked in however guys it's time for the final piece to i guess the exterior of this truck and that is our grill we can finally slap that in there um, I know a lot of you were complaining that I think that this headlight's in wrong, so I'm actually going to pop this out really quick, switch the wires, and um, the correct light will be running when the running lights are on. I just put them in the wrong socket, so let me do that really quick here. So this is gonna be my uh, savior here. On Amazon a long time ago, I couldn't tell you a link or nothing. I ordered these months and months and months ago when I took my wheel liners out because I just got angry the one day and ripped it out. 
when my spark plug and header was just messing with me way back in the winter. So I ordered these because I lost all of them. For some reason I decided to order two sets of 240 pieces. So I have like 480 pieces of plastic plugs here and a little plug tool which is awesome. I don't know, it's on Amazon, it's pretty cheap. Literally, it, it had to be like eight bucks or something if I ordered two. Um, it had to be ridiculously cheap for me to order two of them. So um, four of these. And I've got a black hand now that I touched the stuff. Boom. And this one more in lock. Wow, that came in so handy. Wait, yeah, those are about those are about the plugs I needed anyway. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Well, guys, I guess there's one more thing to do. Obviously, I know under the hood needs some attention. I'm gonna figure that out still of what I'm gonna do under here. Obviously, there's a big black tarp that covers most of this, but the outer edges and stuff, I'm gonna figure something out here soon. All right, now that it's mainly assembled, yes, I gotta polish this, because there's some kind of gunk on it. I gotta sand it and get it off, but here we go, guys. The first completed look of our Chevy. Nope, sorry, sorry. Here we go, one more time. There we go. Ooh, baby, obviously I need to wipe off our headlights and stuff, but there we have it. Really? Mm. She's come a long way from sitting here months ago, maroon, pap cap, rusted out. Um, she's come a long, long way. Obviously, I remember the truck was, I think, where the Hellcat is, and she had rusty rockers. Uh, obviously, fender flares on it with, like, rust coming through here. Same thing on the bed. The bed's not my favorite part of this truck because it's kind of... <sighs> I wish I honestly just bought a whole new bed and didn't do the body panels, that's for sure. But, I mean, the the bed's just in work, work truck shape. I mean, it's dented and beat up anyway, so regardless... She's come a long way otherwise, and it looks really, really good. I honestly, I'm just like blown away because all I have to do is wire my mirrors, retint the windows, the bed liner, and our lift. The list has gone from a million things down to four. So mentally, I, I can't even be that excited right now because I'm like, holy crap, this has been four months of work and we're like here now. So I know it may not look like four months of work, but she's definitely come a long way in that time and I can, oh. Uh, Super, super happy with how she's turned out. So guys, if you're enjoying this build, shoot this video a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe, take care. I will see you guys in the next video. We'll be finishing this up sooner than later. Within the next, I mean, four videos max, this truck should be done, should be done um, within this video. So absolutely unreal, absolutely unreal. I'm exhausted. I'll see you guys in the next video.